Together is running out. I have so many questions. Where is my mother? The only question you need to ask is what does your heart desire? I want to tell her. My mother needs to know that I'm alright. I have to meet her again. I am not sure you can. What do you expect me to do? This is the oldest part of the caves. This is where the world of the Forgotten began. Here stood the Cornerstone, the most concentrated anima crystal in the realm. But it was stolen. Panku, inside the Cornerstone was the heart of this world. The Arca! Bonku ripped it out and split it in two. One for you, and one for him. That kept you from crystallizing. He will need both halves of the Arca to power the Ether Bridge. If he succeeds, this world will come to an end. The Forgottenings and Big. Our world cannot exist without the Arca. I will go to the tower and speak to Bonk. He will listen to me. Where you belong is a choice you need to make. But you will not have to make it alone. Give you.
for Gotlings. You! What are you doing here? Get out! Wait! This is all your fault. He'd never have found us if it wasn't for you. No, I came here to- Leave! You don't belong here! Leave us alone! Get out right now! Oh, Anne. I'm so sorry. You don't mean... Fig. Not you too. I'm sorry, Fig. Do not say another word. I didn't mean to. You alone are responsible for this enforcer. This is where all your actions have led us. You're right. No, Anne. He's right. It's all my fault. To it. Put that Arca down. Show some respect, girl. Where is Anne? <gasps> Impossible. Fig? What did you do to me? I don't know. I was gone. I'm so sorry, Fig. I guess a stupid soulless thing like myself will have to settle for that. I don't believe it. You think I'd leave you in charge, Bob? And. What happened after I left? I found a crystal cave. I met a spirit in there, and she changed my Arca somehow. She told me she was the world's first memory. She also told me that if Banku turns on the ether bridge, the world will cease to exist. Bob, she met a spirit in a crystal cave. Don't start. She met the caretaker. There's no question about it. It's the only explanation for all of this. The caretaker doesn't exist. A spirit in a cave? A first memory? One who just happened to give Anne the ability to revive forgotlings? I don't care. But if our Arca can revive distilled forgotlings, I'm afraid we do need our help. What do you say, Enforcer? Should we set aside our differences? First thing we need to- I'm joining Fig, not you. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. I have a plan, and as much as I hate to admit it, we need your help, Enforcer. Ah. I'm doing this so no Forgotling will ever be distilled or hurt again. I couldn't have put it better myself, Anne. Fig, why are you staring at me? No reason. There are a lot of distilled Forgotlings outside. I better get to work. When you're done, let's meet in the hall and discuss our plan of attack.
You never told me what happened here while I was gone. It's a long and sad story. Are you sure you want to hear it? You're right. There'll be another time for stories. I don't know about that. Truly an honorable deed. I am forever grateful. And I know exactly how we can take Bonku down with one swift blow. All right, let's do this. I look forward to hearing your thoughts, sir. Recently, I spoke to a forgotling with insight into the tower grounds. I've crafted a plan based on the information he gave me. Who was this forgotten, and where is he now? I'm afraid I haven't seen him after the attack. What was his name? It was none other than the great Crate Boxton. Who is this unsung hero? The bravest forgotten I've ever met. Uh, Bob? I'm afraid Crate Boxton was a spy. How? Well... He was... Uh, a spy of Bunkus, yes. That's horrible. I should have seen that coming. I knew something was fishy. No one wears boots like that. Exactly. All my work on this plan is wasted. Now what do we do? Well, I have a plan, actually. <laughs> Let's hear it, then. Here's my plan. We simply walk in. Through the main gate? Bunku sealed that a long time ago. There's a secret entrance in my house, though. I knew it. Dilly was right. You still need to get past the checkpoints at the central station and tower grounds. We'll pretend I've caught Fig. Everyone will think I was on Banku's side all along. That's quite a gamble. It'll work. The secret tower entrance in my house is protected with an Arca lock. I can't open it alone. I'll go with you. Maybe the two of you can sneak in, but you'll need backup in case something goes wrong. He's right. Let me round up my friends from Scrappers. Once Fig and I are inside the tower, we can turn off Bonku's security systems, and then the road will be clear for Bulb and his friends. When we see the security system is off, we blow a hole in the wall and storm in. All right, but I want to speak to Bonku before you do anything, Bulb. I have to convince him not to activate the ether bridge. Anne is right. Fiscal confrontation is our last resort. Did you hear that, Bulb? Yes, yes, fine. I wish you the very best of luck. The journey is dangerous. The town will be occupied by forgotlings loyal to Bonku. Not to mention lost pieces. What about the thing up in the top of the tower? That's just a story. There's nothing living in the tower except Bonku. Let's not start with the ghost stories. I think we all deserve a good night's sleep before we leave tomorrow. Anne, you can rest at my place. Anne. The bed is ready for you. You must be tired. I am. Thank you, Blanket. Good night. Sweet dreams, Anne. Blanket? Hmm? What do you remember from your life in the ether? It's a strange thing. You 
don't remember your life up there until you arrive here. What do you mean? I remember being there. I remember being wrapped around you. I remember your mother. But I was not really there. Oh. I'm the luckiest forgotling here, you know. I'm already with my owner. I like that. Me too. <sighs> See you tomorrow, Blanket. Good night, Anne. I cannot believe I have to adjust this again. You are growing so fast. I want to be this big. Oh, you will. Just one more adjustment, and your Arca is ready again. Why do I have to wear that? Because you are very, very special, Anne. We'll always be together, right? Of course. <laughs> Time to get up, Blanket. Blanket? My blanket. Morning, Nan. Ready to go? What's wrong? Oh. Are you all right? Why did this have to happen? She was old. It was her time. I had such a good talk with her last night. About the ether. I'll have someone move her to the memorial. Thank you. <sighs> well, let's go then. Which way do you suggest we take? Uh, if we want to keep out of Bonku's way, we have to take the lower streets. You know the lower streets aren't safe. We'll make it. Let's go through here. Let's go. Not 
start power. It's all chaos. Bunko made an appearance at the square. I heard that the rebel leader has escaped and killed. Don't listen to me. I've been here before. An engineer called Daisy lives here. She was designing a rocket last time I spoke to her. Come on, there's an exit at the top of the staircase. We can't get through here. I wonder if Bonku caused this mess. 
We can probably climb Daisy's rocket and get out that way. It is gone. I guess she finally launched it. Flying to the ether. Is that even possible? I guess we'll never know. And now we have to find another way to get out. What's that? Anne! Lost pieces! Anne! I can't move! Get off me, Scream! Help me! Anne! What's happening, Anne? They're helping us! Why are you thinking them? They almost devoured us. Don't you see? They're not lost pieces anymore. Well, how nice for them. Bye, take care. All right, can we move on now, please? At least we're safe now. Let's hope they find some peace. You have some powerful friends, Anne. I'm not sure. It must have been the caretaker. <laughs> Remember the last time we were here? Don't remind me. It wasn't that long ago. Feels like another life. Come on, follow me. If you think you can convince me otherwise, you haven't made a belt before. You're a rebel and rebels are- We're freedom fighters. I want you off the streets. Who cares what you want? Yeah, you don't fool us. Sounds like you've been hit on the head a few too many times. All I want is to get back to the ether, feel a foot again. All you want is to destroy my dream. And that's all it is. A dream. Take that back, or... Or what? Or... Or I'll just steal you. You think this isn't a real depleter? You'll do it. You're a forgotten boot. A single boot. Your owner probably dumped you in a trash pile. Don't talk that way about my owner. No one cares about your owner. Yeah, keep going. We sure show them. Stupid, useless rebel. What a pointless loss. That was me. That boot was me. Not anymore. Come on, we need to move on. I can revive her! I just have to find a way down there. And I can bring her back. Nick. Are you ready to distill two forgotlings to revive one? You're right. We better move on then. So, what is the plan? Getting inside the tower is not a problem. There's a secret entrance from my house. We still need to get past security at two stations, not to mention that lunatic gun forgotling. Chief Inspector Magnum, I can handle it. We'll pretend you're my prisoner and he'll let us in, no questions asked. Of course, the gun nut will just let us straight through. Will you trust me for once? I think you owe me that. All right, fill me in on the details, please. If I told you now, you'd refuse to go. Very encouraging. Over this way. Right behind you. Hey, it's the enforcer and rebel leader outside. Move it. I want to be you. It's kidding them. Not sure what they're doing. Hey, Billy, go back to your room now. Could you help me up here? Thank you. 
our friend. I did my job. The Enforcer! Oh, that settles it! I'm doing it now! Wait! Wait! What did you do, Norman? I just did what the Enforcer would have done. Have you forgotten how she inspired us? She didn't distill the shoe or mop. I guess she didn't distill any forgotlings, now I think about it. Stop being such a painted. That distiller has driven you mad with power. Excuse me. That walkie-talkie got what he deserved. Quiet! What do you think about this walkie-talkie business? You could influence it, you know. We better let this run its course. That walkie-talkie probably had it coming. Look, we need to get going and... He had it coming. How would you know? Sure he did a bad thing, but... Maybe he was just a poor walkie-talkie dealing with his own problems? For godlings can change, you know. You sure changed now. I wish there was some way of bringing him back. Have it your way. I'll revive him. Maybe you shouldn't. No. Y yes, do it. Wait, don't do it. Ah! Inspector Magnum has gone mad. He's detaining just about everyone he meets, ever since he heard the enforcers switch sides. Jump! I don't think I can make that jump! Come on, Anne. You can do it. Just aim for my hand. About that, isn't it about time you explain the details? The plan is, we jump down there and I distill you. What? We pretend that I went undercover to catch you. And to prove that I'm really on Banku's side, I distill you in front of everyone. I was distilled once and that's more than enough. Let's just pretend that- Magnum needs to see me distill you. He has no clue that I can bring you back now. I'll revive you as soon as we're on board the train to the tower. You promise? I trusted you with my life once, didn't I? What do you want me to do? We jump down in front of everyone, and I say something like, Mr. Fig, I finally found you. Prepare to be distilled. And you say, Stay your hand. The darkness of your Arca shall never reach my soul. Long live the freedom fighters. <laughs> yes, exactly. I knew you had an actor in you. That was perfect. Really? You think so? Absolutely. Then I distill you, bring you on the train, and revive you. All right, let's get to it. Someone's up there. Blum bum. was on an undercover mission for Banku and never was on my side after all. She sure fooled me. The 
the end has come for you, Mr. Fig. I will now. So, this is how it ends. The terminus of my life has arrived, taking the form of an adolescent damsel. Observe how the Lady of Anima prepares my inescapable doom. Fig, what are you doing? I have arrived at my day's cataclysmic conclusion. Indeed you have. And now you will... Oh, if only you knew what I have seen with these. My eyes. What I have felt with these. My hands. What I have smelled with these. My nostrils. Never again shall I perceive any sensation of the... No, you shall not. Because I'm distilling you now. What will be after the Anima Sectami? What will I become? To which destiny have my feet taken me? Switch sides? This was your plan. I told you, didn't I tell you? What a plan. What a scheme. What a talent. Bravo, Enforcer. Thank you. It's good to be back. <laughs> Something not right. You're right. We have to celebrate. No need. Everything is fine the way it is. The rebel leader was finally caught by me, the Enforcer. Let me just get him on the train to the tower, and you can all go about your business. Yes, let's get on the train. Plum bum, seal, fig, and box. Yes, seal in that no good wooden trader and get him on the train. Just a moment. And Dorser have not worried at all. We can trust Plum bum with this, Madam Endorser. Uh, Madam Enforcer. Allow me to escort you. I never imagined that my first time in the VIP lounge would be in your company, Madam Enforcer. Such an honor. It's over here. in VIP lunch. Fantastic carriage, isn't it? Master Bunku had it made for his trips into town. Doesn't get any better than this. I can't remember the last time I felt this calm. No rebel can reach us here. They sure can't. You said no rebel could reach us here, right? That's right. We're completely safe. What, with you here and me, of course. And me? Suppose a rebel did strike. What would you do? Well, I would hurry out of this lounge and conduct a good old search and destroy with Amp. I see. Madam Enforcer, Amp and Plumbum can take care of everything. Just stay in here and relax. Sure showed those puny rebels his boss. Yes, it certainly did. The rebels are cunning, I'll admit that. But our very own eye in the sky proved to be more cunning by far. Yes, everything that happened was completely intentional. Well, why don't we move into the. Imagine that rebel leader, lifeless in a dark box like the thing he is. Let's go inside. I can't tell you how great it feels to finally get rid of these pesky rebels. Bet you planned this all that morning when rebels broke into your house.